you can see the nice advantages to having my climbing line cinched off on the stem above me. It's made it a lot easier for me to tie in my rigging block. But now that I'm about ready to make a face notch, I want to bring my climbing line down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my weight into my lanyard, take my weight out of my friction hitch, creating some slack, and then I've left a tail here in the running bowline, and then I can just tug on the tail and then shake this running bowline down, and now I can just re-secure it here right above the rigging. Now I want my climbing line above the rigging because after I make the final cut, I'm going to want to be outside of the rigging. So I like to keep that up above the rigging sling. And then at, before my final cut, I'll move my lanyard up above also. Now, obviously some would say that I'd, there'd be a concern of me coming off the top of the piece after I've made the cut. This is one of the reasons why we use this running bowline because it cinches down onto the stem and that's going to make it a lot safer for, for me. Another nice advantage of using this running bowline is depending on the lean of the tree and the side that I'm working on, I want to make sure that I, I put my lean into the bite of the running bowline. I've got my lanyard below. I can now unsecure this and I'll bring this back around to the sides, but I'll keep it below the rigging while I make my face notch. This way, in case the chainsaw were to come anywhere near my climbing line, I'd be secure. I've made a face notch, now I'm going to tie in the rigging line. I'm going to be using a half hitch. And a running bowline. Now I'm ready to have my round person take some wraps on the porter wrap with the lowering line. I'm going to do a final safety check here, make sure everything's tied, dressed, and set. Before I make my back cut, I'm going to take my lanyard and bring it up above the rigging alongside my climbing line. That way, I'll be totally outside of the rigging when I cut the piece and it releases. Ready to go, I'm going to finish it up a little bit with the handsaw here. Coming over. We were able to get a good chance there of seeing how the hinge, how important the hinge is. The piece went over until the two faces met and then the hinge broke off. We had nice control. Excellent job by the ground workers on the lowering line, and you saw that I was barely, barely shaken up at all. Great job, Norm.